Hi, I'm Brian B. Barrett with Bar Y University. I'm here with Barry Clower today. It's early, and that means work with hay. Hey. Hey. Um, this hay's on the trailer. What yes, are we sir. doing with it? All right. Well, I was checking it for moisture content. Uh, you were checking thing, it for moisture? Yeah, the main thing, you, you've got to have a certain amount of moisture in the hay. For real? Uh, in the stem in order to be able to bale it up, okay? If it's too dry, it'll be real crumbly. Makes if it's sense. too wet, it's too moist, and you put this hay inside that barn and stack it real tight, you're gonna get that, uh, it's gonna be combustible. It'll be able to catch on fire. Spontaneously, yes, it's slow. Sir. Exactly, and so that gentleman asked me to come and uh, get the hay in the barn for him, and, uh, and so, and that's pretty much all he asked. He's a farming ranch kind of guy, so he knows what needs to be done. He knows I'm a farming ranch kind of guy, uh, more, mostly ranching, not much yeah. farming, but I do know a uh, little bit about hay. And if it's too wet and you pack it in tight, that's when you have a trouble. And so that's what I was checking for. Some of our top bales uh, have the dew from this morning on it. So what I'm probably gonna do, we're gonna throw this hay that has the heavier moisture on it. Yeah. When I got up there and felt of it, right. it's wet. We're gonna just toss it off. And let it dry out. And, and just leave it sitting there. And okay. then we'll get to that that's not, and we're gonna put it in the barn. And by the time we get that in the barn, we'll be ready to put this in. We obviously wanna check the hay, and the only way we have the ability to do that, we don't have a fancy monitor that you can stick in the right. hay, because they make those for moisture get testing. Out. Moisture testing, yes, they test the moisture. And so my <laughs> ability is, is stick my hand in the, Hey, that's why you were doing and, that earlier. Yes, exactly. And uh, as I felt up on top, uh, we have some moisture up there. And okay. so if I take that hay off, when I get ready to unload this and put it in the barn, if there's moisture on a bale, I'm gonna set it aside. How, where would you start? What would you do first? Okay. Well, probably first I'd hook on the trailer and move it a little closer to the barn, but we're not gonna do that <laughs> yeah. right now. We're just gonna pitch a few in there right. and kind of get that going. We, we don't wanna just reach up here and start grabbing wires. Okay, now why these, not? these are bailed. Some bales have string or twine, right. hay twine, That's what I and some with. have, yes, and, and then some have wire. wire. This area right here is kind of borderline. This wire can rust and break on you just like fence wire or anything right. else. And so that's easy. why they usually use hay twine. It's, mm -hmm. it's just the orange or green. You've seen that's every kind I of color. That's why I never saw this in Tennessee much, because yes. it's very humid up there. Yes, and you'll see hay twine out there. Yep. And that, the, yep. the problem, which I like that good, it's fine. The only problem I have with hay twine, it, it melts real fast when you wire your muffler up with it, you know, on your pickup. The baling <laughs> yeah. wire seems to work a little better. Baling wire keeps yeah, it up it there just, longer. The main thing we don't want to do is just start grabbing wires and pulling. Uh, because what so that you seems can do, the most logical thing to do. Why yes, would you not do that? Yes, because you're going to pull the wire off of the hay. Wire will slip off the edge, slip and off then the it hay. just disintegrates. The exactly. hay goes everywhere. And so what I'm going to do, if you can hang out right there, I'm going to slip around to the back because I'm not 25 anymore. And uh, you know, just a few years ago, I'd have just jumped up there. And I'm going to take this first bale, slip my glove off. This bale right here doesn't feel like it has any moisture in it, okay? Something that I want to be cautious about is just throwing this off on its end and letting it bounce on the end of it. I've seen it bust, uh, break open. These are twisted pretty tight, the, the wires. And so what I'm gonna do is turn this on its edge like this. And when I flip it off of there, I want it to land on this part, okay? Like that right there. That's what I want it to do. And then I'm gonna use this as a bounce bale. A bounce bale? Yeah. Oh, I see, you're gonna throw more bales off and let them bounce on that. And if I can hit that on the edge, it'll roll a few over that away. Cause obviously I'm you're doing this. You're just using gravity and physics. Pretty much, that's it. <laughs> and, and it so, keeps them from busting. It's, it, it absorbs exactly. some of the shock. Yes, and, and every now and then, cool. once this bale starts looking like it's a little bit tattered, I'm gonna pick it up, put it in the barn, and then we'll set another one down there. And it's just a little something that, that I didn't know, an older man I was hauling hay for, he, he kind of sat over there and laughed instead of telling me. Well, I threw a bale down there and one end of it busted. 
And so I just left it there and I grabbed another one and I throwed it down there. And when it hit the side of that bale, it rolled almost perfectly really? to where I wanted it to go. And I looked at him, I looked at the Cowboy hay, Tetris. <laughs> and I looked up and I was like, here we go. And so trial and error. And so nice. it worked out pretty nice. good. These top bales are really the main ones I'm concerned with. They're good. Uh, matter of fact, the sun coming out, drying these, I think it's gonna help us a bunch. And uh, so, got it in the barn. Got it closer to the barn. All right. <laughs> now, as I go through that, I'm gonna get me about one more, cause really about as far as I would wanna walk is right there. So I think I got me one more spot. Okay, and then I can hit that bale and it works on my old crippled knees and not hitting that solid ground. I'm gonna come around here, of course, and get my first bale, or second bale, actually. I'm gonna put them on edge, like this right here. If I put it down like that, okay, it's a little bit, not quite as stable. Right. Okay. And then also, the hay, there's more hay getting damaged. So what I want to do is put it up here on its edge. Hmm, okay. I'm going to go fill the floor of this barn up just like that. And so I'll just come get, get a few more bales. Now if you'll notice, I'm picking up this. I want to grab the, the, the wire, the furthest away from me, okay? That's pulling the whole bale to me. I see, this wire here instead yes. of this one back yes. over here. Because if I pull this one, a lot of times if you don't have a pair of pliers, you can, you can put your knee here and pull, right. Right. Yeah. and that wire's gonna come off. And so if you need to pick, tip it to you, grab the wire that's furthest from you, pull it up, and then you've got- Grab the other one, but yeah. Yes, yep. and then you've got about equal pressure coming with you. And uh, if you'll notice something, I put that on my knee, all right? Some people have the ability just to pick it straight up and try to walk with it, okay? Uh -huh. If you're moving one bale, that's fine. But if you're gonna move 86 of them, you're gonna wanna try to figure out a way. Use your legs, use your knee, and uh, yep. make it there. work. And what I wanna do is just kinda get enough right now in here to where you can see how we're gonna tie them in. And what I mean by tie them in, I want this, this hay to be able to stay stacked here for a year if it needs to. And uh, so, all right, what I wanna do, see that right there? Mm -hmm. Now you're leaving a space, I see you're yes. leaving a space back here so that it's not, so, so we can breathe, right? Right. I want, it, I want it to be able to breathe and kind of air out. If that hay was a little bit damp and it was insistent that we get it in the barn, I would leave just a little more space between those bottom bales uh, just, just for that reason. So how long normally, Barry, working by yourself, would it take to do 86 bales off a trailer? I, it, it wouldn't take probably more than uh, about an hour, hour and a half to get the job done, uh, really. And then, uh, I. Probably maximum time would be about three hours. Three yeah, hours. Because it'd take me it would take me an hour and a half to recover. <laughs> and so but <laughs> I've got a couple of bales here. That one's really, really heavy. Hmm. Feel of this side over here, your your with your right hand over here on this side, the furthest from you. Yeah, it's still you damp. You feel some moisture? Yeah, that's yeah. still damp. I didn't even take my gloves. I said, boy, that dude's got some moisture in it. And uh, not that's not always the case when they're heavy. But those are the same size bales, and, and that one just felt a little bit, uh, you know, just had some moisture in it. And so we're just gonna kick it out. I will put that hay in there, uh, but I don't want it to be back there in that, that tight corner. That corner is probably our only danger zone because it'll get the least amount of air, and, and it would have the most uh, possible reason of, of smoldering and, and having some heat captured back there. So. Uh, what would really speed me up is if I wasn't talking about it and I was just doing it. <laughs> I just kind of want to show you the different, what I was talking about tying the hay in 
we're not actually going to take a rope and tie this hay in the barn. Now I'm kind of working both levels because if I put this whole floor in like, like this right here, then I've got to step up on it and walk back here right. to, to pack in this corner. I'm going to take this bale and I'm putting it long ways. See, I, I put these yes. east and west. Uh huh. Now I'm going to put this one north and south. Yep. All right. The next bale that I put right here, okay, is going to go east and west. And that will tie this in. If you can look, like see right here. Like making a brick wall. Yep. Yep, like you're just overlapping yeah. and, and, and changing it each time. Since I weigh about 140 pounds, I'm not going to throw that all the way to the back. i set it right here, and I can roll it one time. Let the hay do the work. Mm -hmm. How's that? Now do you kind of see how you might can get a shot right there of how it, it's tying in? I'm probably about as far as I want to go on this trailer because what I'll do, I'll hook onto it, back it up closer, and then th those right there, I should be able to come off the trailer and go up in the barn with them. Now, do you see the uniform, how square and tight that is? Does that make yeah. any sense? Oh yeah. All right, and that's why. Now, these four bales, those four running out of way, we got these four set like this. The next set, We'll put four, in other words, our second layer will be just like our fourth layer. And so then each so layer, uh, every other layer copies itself. Every it's, yes, it's every other layer. The and layer. then that's what we call tying it, tying it in. If you ever have to stack hay, it's really tough. If you have to stack it twice, that's miserable. And so we just don't want to go to miserable today. So Barry, if you got 86 bales, what, uh, how do, you, how do we make this move a little quicker? It's kind of getting hot. Well, I guess you could set that camera down and probably help me. Let's get this hay in the barn, man. We ain't got all, all day. It? Getting hot. Ow, this wire's cutting my hands. Hey, what? This what are you, this wait, whoa, this whoa, whoa, heavy. what are you doing? We've talked about it all morning. I'm using my knees like you said. The moisture content, man, that's the wettest bale here. Maybe it'd be faster if you just run the camera. What, so which hay do I get? The hay off the trailer, it's dry. This came off the trailer? Oh, my lanta. I don't, ow. Why is it I put four bales in the barn and you're still trying to get one bale off the oh, trailer? You, you're a veteran hayer guy. <laughs> veteran hayer guy. Okay, so I put mine there. Ah, oh, wow. No. How no, do you make the? I showed you. We're, we're, do you? You roll it. You said to roll it. Yeah, we're not even into that point yet. Don't don't bend your elbows. Just pick the hay up. I don't know where this goes. Okay. I don't, you, it's like a puzzle. Yes. I mean, it seems to fit. It, and, ah! you, and you're a part of it. I, I really did hurt my back. And you're. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> That's, Oh man, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> get, get, what have you learned today? Give me a little recap of what you learned. Uh, I know you had to learn something. Sure, you want to make sure you have dry hay. Uh, yeah. If the bales are moist, yeah. uh, well, you, you check by obviously feeling yeah. in here, and as yeah. you as you're doing that, you're going to recognize moisture when Correct. you feel it. Uh, put some hay bales out to dry out. Use a bounce bale. Yep. Yeah. Using uh, yes, you know. Sir Isaac Newton's uh, gravity it. stuff. Didn't get a chance to know him, but we've <laughs> used his work. <laughs> we've used his work. Let that do the work for you, and then make sure those are dry, and then, you know, making sure you don't pull a muscle using, uh, don't just grab the nearest wire to you. Correct. Grab the opposite one that's furthest away. Yeah. And then complement that with your other hand. Yes. Get a good lift. Use your legs. Right, right, uh, definitely. You know, no sense hurting yourself. Okay, and, and then of course, before we put the hay in there, we, we did a little bit of something to maybe yes. save the hay that we're putting in. We used last year's hay to save yes. this year's hay. We, last year's hay, we put on the ground, yes. cover as much dirt as you can, make sure the area is clean. Yes. Get the rocks and things yeah. out if you can. Yeah. Uh, clean and level, make sure it's as level yeah. as it can be. Right. Fully padded with some loose hay, yeah. and then you begin to stack them. Correct. The bottom layer, we um, 
you stack on its side. Yep, on edge, I guess, on is what, edge. what on it's kind of edge. referred to. Uh -huh. yep. On the edge. And then the next layer is going as you would normally stack. Yep. Uh, but then you do the other layer across so yes. it gives it some support like you'd be laying bricks. You know, Correct. Two here and then one on top of that yep. so Just, that it joins. Yeah. Crisscross or however you want. Yeah. You know, and it's going to come out different every layer, but you never want to stack two bales. Uh, on top of each other correct, the same way. Correct. Something I didn't tell you. Yeah. You That's put a it no -no. like that, then it's then you've got you a you right. got you a teeter totter, you right. know, going just asking that top bell to 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 drop off on you. So yeah, that's good. All All right. Right. More than I thought. <laughs> you bet. I do okay. Think you can stack some? I can. All Let's right. do it. Mm-hmm. Man, that's perfect. That looks good. Tell you the best part about this is you're doing it. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> Hurry, man, we got to stack this hay before they build that wall. <laughs> we're going to have to edit that. Really? That will put that on our PI. <laughs> <laughs> 